Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are a new viewer, welcome. My name is Safai Kelly. I am a beauty influencer and content creator. First and foremost, I do want to say a huge thank you to Ulta Beauty for sponsoring this video. And with that comes some very big news, ladies and gentlemen. I had the amazing opportunity of being a part of their 2020 spring campaign. That is right. You guys can find me in all Ulta Beauty stores behind the cash register. I'm on one of those posters and I'm in their magazines if you haven't seen them already. I'm very excited living on cloud nine. But if you guys are interested in learning how to achieve this look and also hear about my experience, keep on watching, let the games begin and let's get started. I did want to mention that all of the products that I will be using in today's video can be found at Ulta Beauty. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and do a serum. We're gonna do a little bit of skincare before I dive into all of this makeup that's so important to take care of your skin. I will be using the Derma E Skin De-Stress Calming CBD Serum. I'm really excited to try this because I've heard a lot of great stuff about CBD, but I have yet personally been able to try them, so I'm really excited about this. You guys, I cannot believe that I was a part of the Ulta 2020 Spring Campaign. Like, what? Oh my gosh, I think it's just so wild. For my moisturizer today, I will be using the Derma E Skin De-Stressing Calming CBD Moisturizer. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. Anything de-stressing I feel like is always gonna be good, even if you're not stressed out. You may not even know you're stressed out and you know, like de-stress, welcome it. I welcome anything de-stressing, please. Okay beauties, for foundation today, I will be using the Ulta Beauty Effortless Effect Foundation. It is a medium coverage and it is a hydrating foundation. I'm in the shade Deep Warm. I actually really don't mind a medium coverage for springtime and summer to be honest because it just gets so hot and humid here in Miami if you can relate you already know so about the spring campaign you guys when I got this email I had no idea what to expect I was like I was like me are you sure you you like me for the 2020 spring campaign yes absolutely like I didn't even have to think about it it was amazing forever grateful for this opportunity because if you told Safai me three years ago that I would be in every single Ulta magazine and in all of the stores behind the register I would be like stop talking crazy I'd be like that's not don't don't play with my emotions that way but we are sitting here today talking crazy people because it actually happened can we just let this foundation have a moment for itself right now because this is literally like the perfect shade Okay, Okay. so I just primed my eyes and now we're gonna dive into concealing. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep. I'm just gonna conceal underneath my eyes lightly. To go ahead and add some light underneath my eyes, I will be taking the Becca Light Shifting Brightening Concealer in the shade Five. I kinda like what this is doing underneath my eyes. It's a little bit of like illuminating concealer. So that is it for complexion. I'm very happy with the way everything is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye off camera, get my life together, get a look together, and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back with one eye done. Now the whole idea behind the 2020 spring campaign for Ulta Beauty was about mood boards. And my mood board was bold and daring, and I think I completely embody that. So it was only right that I create a bold and daring look for this video. Let's just dive into this. The first shade I'm taking is Kahina from the Warrior 3 palette. I'm gonna be placing this shade in my crease region for my transition shade today. This shade is a gorgeous berry tone and what this shade represents for me in springtime are tulips and tulips are one of my favorite flowers. Next I'll be taking this deep brown from the Nomad palette. I'm placing this deep brown on the outer portion of my eye and this is gonna give some depth to the crease region. And I'm also going to bring this shade in once there's less product on my brush. I'm going to bring it inward. So for me, this deep brown shade represents that deep brown that you see in tree trunks. I also did think of um, rich soil that is often 
found in the springtime. The soil is nice and rich. I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline and my lower lash line with the dark side waterproof liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Next I'll be taking Maasai from the Warrior 3 palette. I'll be placing Maasai on my lower lash line but towards the inner corner and Maasai is gonna represent, of course, healthy green grass. Now I'm taking an even deeper green from the Nomad palette. I'm placing that deeper green on the outer portion on the lower lash line and I mean grass comes in all colors, shapes, sizes and uh, this is just a deeper grass shade I guess. So I went ahead and did a half cut crease and I blended out the edges at the end. Now I'm taking this light gold shade from the Nomad palette. I'm going to pack this shade right at the inner corner and now this shade is going to represent all the glowing that I'll be doing. Spring. Like I'll be just glowing all spring long. I'm taking the shade Congo from the Warrior 3 palette. I'm placing Congo on the second portion of this cut crease to go ahead and fill in the space that's left. I'm pretty sure you can guess what Congo is going to represent. All these blue skies that I'll be seeing in spring. Last but not least, I'm taking this stunning, sparkling yellow shade from the Nomad palette. And I'm going to pop that yellow right in the inner corner to go ahead and sort of highlight, but it's like just to add like a pop of color. And yes, oh yes, honey, this shade is representing the sun. See, doesn't it all make sense now? So we're pretty much done with this eye look. I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and mascara off camera and I'll be right back so we can finish up the rest of this look. All right, you guys, so it's definitely time to go ahead and finish up the rest of this look. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take the shade Kahina from the Warrior 3 palette. Um, and this is the shade, this is the first shade I used for my transition today. I thought it'd be fun to add some color back into the face and take the shade as a blush. I have to say being a part of this campaign was something that was really special to me because this is something that I have, you know, just lightly spoken to, you know, amongst my family and friends about how awesome it would be to be a part of a huge campaign and this is a huge campaign! Being in all of the Ulta stores and magazines is just like... It really honestly is like a dream come true and I am just so grateful and so honored and thankful that I was able to be a part of it and meet these other amazing influencers as well. So it is definitely time to go ahead and glow and for my glowing situation today I am not new to this one you guys. I'm actually a fan of the Skin Glazing Illuminating Powder from Nabla Cosmetics and this is in the shade Lucent Jungle. Like the finish of the highlight is is. Perfection. It is exactly what it needs to be. So to finish up this look, I will be taking some lipstick. The lipstick is from L'Oreal and it is in the shade Contemporary. Oh, love this. This is super cute. Like a quick little rundown about my experience with Ulta Beauty for this 2020 spring campaign. It was absolutely seamless. It was amazing. Everything was taken care of. All the influencers were taken care of. Everyone was so nice. Um, so basically I flew in and um, the next day we had to do prep for hair and nails to make sure everything was in order and also wardrobe. And then after that we had a shoot and I believe I did my film day first, so I was the first one to go and film. Everyone on set was amazing. I felt extremely comfortable because this is what I do. I'm in front of the camera all day, every day, 24-7. Also got to have some wind down time with Meredith. She is absolutely amazing. I love Meredith. Also love Troy. They're just the most amazing people ever. Got to work with some really talented, talented, amazing and genuine people. And we ended the trip with a wrap dinner for the shoot and it was bittersweet. It was just so amazing, you know, amazing to be there but also bittersweet because like leaving and we just met and became great friends. So I am eternally grateful for this experience and I wanna thank Ulta Beauty. I love my Ulta family. Thank you guys so much. And here we have the completed look. I had so much fun creating this look for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's look, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to drop some comments down below. If we're not friends yet, don't worry. 
easy fix, go ahead and click that subscribe button. For everyone wondering where else you can find me, I'm also on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Everything will be linked down below in my description box. A special thanks to Meredith and Troy and the entire Ulta Beauty family team. You guys are absolutely amazing. I want to thank you so much for this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. I, I'm just like, I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much for everything. And I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Bye you guys.